Ow! <laughs> <laughs>
And people always wonder why I use this description, so I'll do it again. The retarded kids in the class. Well, there's two groups that make the most noise, and you don't really care because you don't. When the retarded kid says, I won four gold medals, no one really cares. I wasn't in trying to compete with you in the Special Olympics. But when somebody says that guy won five gold medals at the Olympics, everybody gets mad. It's the same thing. No one really cares what dark skinned women say and what fat women say because they believe that they both need self esteem. Yet a man can be called fat and we have to deal with it. Nobody feels bad about a fat man. Nobody feels bad about a broke man. A broke man is made fun of. A man that cannot help take care of his kids is made fun of. A woman that cannot take care of her kids, she's helped by the government. So do we not understand that there's a big problem here, a chasm, as you will, which allows women to be able to have standards and men not? We need to change this. Everybody can have standards and preferences and then none of it is shallow because when it comes to dating and marriage, the only person that's going to take that penis is you. So you should be able to pick whoever you want. And if we really believe that dating and marriage was what it was supposed to be, which is for the rest of your life, rich or poor, to death do us part, that kind of stuff then we would do a better job at picking our mates than we do picking our houses. Have you noticed that a lot of you guys have had houses longer than you had relationships? Your houses last longer than your relationships, your houses last longer than your marriage, but you take your time out to pick your house. You don't take that same time out to pick a husband, a boyfriend, whatever it is you want, same way when you go looking for a house or a car, or anything else, you should be able to get it, especially if you only get one. Women want men, men to lower their standards. Here's how you do it. Let me have more than one woman. Let me sleep with a bunch of women. Oh, I'll pick the one with the big breasts, the one that's sweet, the one that's cooked. All, all these, I'd pick them. I'd be okay with it. But if you're asking me to pick just one woman, then understand both of our standards should be high. Not just mine, not just yours. We all have things that are deal breakers. There's nothing wrong with it if my deal breaker is you're fat. There's nothing wrong with my if my deal breaker is your dark skin and people say, well, you're dark skin. Yeah, I got a penis, too. I don't want my mate to have one. You ever notice how opposites attract? I don't have breasts. I really like breasts. I don't have a butt. I really like a butt. I like vagina. I don't have one. So stop having the stupid logic that because you look and sound and say a certain something, you should want someone to do the same. Because if last I checked, you couldn't put a puzzle together that way. You couldn't put a car together. You couldn't put a team together if everybody did the same thing. So stop being so hard on people that don't want you. The only people that claim somebody else is shallow are the people who didn't get chosen. Please remember that. So as long as women can have standards, men can have standards. Want to do away with standards? Do away with this idea of I can't cheat. But then that's just me.